Hey everybody. Uh, in this video, we're going to create a crystal design from an image file. Uh, in this case, it's going to be the Batman logo, because I like Batman. I've provided you on this disc with this image, so you can do the same thing. Um, you know, with with it, but you can you can use the same steps pretty much to uh, to to make your own image out of out of a picture that you downloaded or drew or something like that. First step, of course, is to open the program. Left double left click uh, to open it, and I tell it I want to create new. Hit next. Because we're going to be sewing this, we're not going to be sewing this out. Rather, we're going to be just making uh, a crystal template with it. It doesn't matter what fabric we choose. I'll just choose cotton. It's kind of my default go-to. Now this time we're going to make sure that we have from file selected up here at the top. That means you're going to be picking an image file to digitize. And you're going to left click on this little dot 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 here. That'll bring up a dialog box. Now mine defaulted to this folder where my image is. You uh, if you're doing this off of the CD, you're going to go and hit this downward arrow and choose your uh, DVD drive and select the image off of that. Uh, so once you navigate to where the image is, you left click on Batman logo and choose open. From here, we'll just hit next. The hoop really doesn't matter because we're not going to be embroidering this. I left it at what I had it set at, 180 by 130. Uh, it's a fine hoop size. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit next. Okay, so from here we choose Trace, Convert to Outlines. What this is going to do is actually auto-digitize our design for us. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could sew this out as an embroidery design instead of a uh, crystal design. But the whole point of this is that we're making a crystal design out of it. So uh, we're going to do Trace, Convert to Outlines, which is in this program's parlance that is auto-digitizing. Alright, so we're going to hit Next. It's currently tracing my image, and here it shows me what it's found. Now, if we look down here, this says it's 54.82 centimeters, and no, by the way, there's no way to make this tell you this in inches. I tried, believe me. Um, anyway, this 54 centimeters is enormous. That's like two feet wide. So we don't want this image to be that to be that big. Um, so we're going to go to scale image. Um, and I'm gonna set this image at 25%. If the image that you're using isn't huge, um, then you know that's then that's fine. You don't have to scale it. But I'm gonna scale it down. I found out earlier that 25% is the sweet spot here. Um, and then we're gonna leave these two alone, and we're gonna go to use background, and left click there, and it has figured out on its own that white is the background. That means it's not gonna digitize the white. Okay, so. And that and that selected. This is at 25%. The scale image is at 25%. Um, and when you have that set, left click on trace. It tells me that these are the two colors that it's found. Um, at this point, I just basically have no choice but to say finish. Okay, so here's my design. This I could save. I could go to file, save as, and save it as a PES design. Save it. Uh, and this I could sew this out. I could sew it out um, on my embroider machine and it would be a lovely little Batman logo. But that's not what we're doing in this video. In this video we are making crystal designs. So I want to have the line out here in crystals and I want to have the logo itself in crystals and I'm just going ign to ignore the yellow part. Um, I'm not going to have the yellow part involved. I'm going to have crystals here and crystals here. So the first thing I'm going to do is move my mouse so it's hovering over the outline, and you can see that it highlights when it does this. See? Move my mouse over and it highlights. I'm going to left click on it, and see here, in my object properties, it's currently set to be a satin stitch. I don't want that. I want it to be a crystal, crystal fill. So I'm going to left click on crystal fill, and it changes it to crystals. However, I'm going to zoom in here, see what it's done? It's it's trying to fill them in in kind of a crazy way that doesn't look right. Um, I want this to be a single line of crystals. Um, so if I go in my properties and look below all the different choices for colors, there's a selection for fill. And it's currently set to shape fit. I'm going to change that 
to single line. And look, now they're all lined up in a nice little line. Okay, so that's for outline type things. You want your crystals to be in a single line. That way it knows that it only wants one line going all the way around the design. Okay, and now we're going to shift gears and left click on the Batman logo itself in here. I can see that it's highlighted. When I move my mouse over it, it lights up. Left click on that. And same thing, we're going to go to Crystal Fill. And look at this. It's filled in with crystals. And that is, again, the default, the shape fit down here. And that actually looks pretty good. But what else can we do? How else can we array these crystals in here? Let's look at these different fill types. Because when you're dealing with a, a large open shape, that's when these different fill types come into play. Uh, so I can go under fill here and change it from shape fit to line fit. Let's see what that does. Ooh, that looks crazy. That's because this line fit is not made for uh, an open design like this so it kinda gets this wavy wavy line it's trying to fill it in with lines that are based on the outlines of the of the shape it doesn't really work right um, okay we already did shape fit what's single line do oh yeah see that's not made for this so again it looks kinda crazy um, so you don't want to do single line on an open uh, shape we'll go up to the top here and do rectangle and that looks very blocky. See, it's it's filling it in in just straight lines, um, and you know it it doesn't look that great. Um, it looks better than the other two that we looked at before this, um, but it's still you know you don't you miss some of the detail because it's not conforming completely to the shape. And we've also got circular. That looks pretty neat, but again, it doesn't really conform to the shape as as well as I'm as I want. Although that still looks pretty good. Yeah, I do like the way that looks. Okay, so from circular, I'm going to go to the last one, which is contour, which is my favorite one for this shape. I'm going to left click on contour, and look what it does. It actually contours. It's got an outline all the way around it in crystals, and then a contour filling it all the way in on the inside. I think that looks neat. I like it. That's the one I want. You can pick whichever one you find to look appropriate. Uh, and now basically we're done we just want to make sure that we have um, the crystal size selected that we're using I'm using size 10 crystals that's what came in the kit um, but you know if you've got size 12 crystals and set it to size 12 and it'll automatically compensate for the fact that they're wider and won't let them overlap um, I'm go back to 10 because that's what size I'm using like I said okay and that's it. Now we need to export it, send it to the cutter. So we have our Cameo cutter or whatever cutter you're using plugged into your computer. You go over to File, Export to Crystals Cutters, and we can see where all my little holes are going to be and what it's going to look like. And make sure I've got my passes set on three and cut frame set so that it cuts the, the template out. And if I have everything set right, and I've got my template material loaded into my cutter. I just click on cut. I don't have a cutter plugged into my computer at my house here. Uh, but if I did, this would be lit up. I just hit cut and it'll cut it. And then I can go and use my, um, my crystals to fill in the template and get that pressing material and go put this on a shirt. You know, the more I look at this, the more I really don't like this contour, actually. In fact, I don't like it so much that what I'm going to do is go in and add a couple of crystals in here where these holes are. These are the holes are what's bugging me. So I go and use my crystal tool, create crystal shape tool, and it remembers what I'm what I'm using, the size and the color. And I'm going to put a one crystal here, one crystal here, and there. Now I like it. File, export to crystals cutters. Make sure everything's satisfactory hit cut, you're done. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.